Week uh week sixty nine. Seventeen. What are we gonna do for week sixty nine? What week are we? We're just gonna sit here and say nine. Isn't there seventy two weeks in a year? Awesome. What episode are we on right now? Fifty two. You dumb motherfucker, dude. I think we should do that for week sixty nine. Just all of us hop on and like we just go in a circle. Everyone says nice and then call it a day. (laughs) (laughs) We all give our own little rendition of an intro. You just 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 come on, John, and just do the. This is episode sixty nine, and then episode sixty nine is is actually. And then everyone just goes nice, 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 and then it's got to last one minute nine seconds in the final cut, and that's and and it'll. It'll probably be our most popular fucking episode. <laughs> it probably will. Oh, geez. This awesome. is episode, episode 54. Oh, we're, we're pretty close. Wow. We or 55, maybe? What's the next fucking golf? Masters? No, yes. this weekend yes. and then the Masters. The Val Val this weekend's like the last, the last Val weekend. Spar. So the, the question is, we'll lead off with this. We'll just start from the initial recording, Austin. No editing needed. What is Ricky Fowler going to make the Masters cut? Or like, is he mm. going to make the field? Not the cut. Who the field. cares? I agree. Who cares? Uh, well, then yeah. What are we here for? What are we talking about if we're not going to talk about this? Two weeks ago, I you know I went out on a limb and took Ricky. <laughs> Didn't work out that well, but um, I don't know. I think he makes it right. What does he? Does he have to finish what top <sighs> twenty this weekend to qualify? I don't even know what it is. <coughs> Completely awesome. made that up. Get on the Google machine, figure it out. Fuck, do I look big? Like? Dick you Rick. ever seen the uh, Burt Pre- Burt Kreischer and um, Holy shit! Literally, you Google Big Dick Rick, and the first thing is from the Golf News Net, and it's Ricky Fowler embraces his nickname. I was gonna. <laughs> I thought you were gonna click on the images. You results. literally <laughs> Google Big Dick Rick and Ricky Fowler is the first thing that comes up. That's fantastic. Oh, uh, Austin, have you ever seen the 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 Two Bears One Cave podcast at all before or heard nope. of it? What? So anyway, they've got his guy like. They've got three guys that are producers. They're all like on the Google machines, they call them. Nadav is his one name. And they give Nadav shit all the time. Like, Nadav, look it up. Look, pull up Nadav. And then they're like, Nadav, you're shit. You can't do this, Nadav. You're slow. So you are our Nadav. I'm no, I'm not. You. Don't ever fucking talk to me like that again. I'll talk to you. I want to talk to you. Hey, that guy behind you, uh, is that Rizzo? No. He's, uh, is that Bryant? John, we've Mojave. done this podcast for over a year now. It's jo- a joke has been made about that, too. For over a year now. Guess what? Because none of the three are going to be back next year. Oh, anyway. Um, Johnny, you live in Bumfuck, no worth, no professional sports teams. Keep talking. All right. Are we ready for the Ricky Fowler update on what yes, he please. needs yes. to do in order to yes. make please. the Masters? Yes. These it is shut not, the fuck up. It is not the top 20. He doesn't have to make the top 20. Top 50. No, he has to fucking win. He has oh, to, he win to win in order to make the Masters. Who did that like four or five years ago? There's a guy that won to get in. Was it Ian Poulter? I well, if like you win the week before, you get in, no matter. He what. has fallen out of the top fifty in the world. He's currently sitting at ninety-four. He has wow. to win in order to avoid missing the Masters for the first time in the last ten years. Holy shit! Does anybody? While we're on it, the for the valve, it's the valve spar, right? Does anybody know what the yeah. field looks like? Are a lot of people taking the week off? Uh, no, I'm sure the people are there are warming up. Texas Open. The Valeros this week? My boy George Valero is going to take Texas it. This week. Yeah. Valero, Texas. Open. No, last week was a match play. God, you guys are fucking morons. We are a golf podcast. Oh, I'm thinking of Harbor Town. That's the week after the Masters. Keep arguing Town. with the dude who's Correct, literally John. reading it offline. <laughs> Jesus yeah, no, Christ. No. Yeah. I was, I was wrong. <laughs> you just Googled this shit, dude. You're arguing, arguing with Golf Digest. Tim comes on three weeks later, first time. He's like, come on, guys, I'm here. Listen he's to like, me. I know golf now, guys. <laughs> I've spent my last three weeks at the house. Oh, where was I the last golf. two? I was fucking, what was I doing? I've worked the last one. What the hell happened to the, the previous? Oh, you were gone too last week, Tom? We took the week off. Yeah. Well, well we can do that. We just do that now? That <laughs> we have such a large following, Tim. You heard it here, we boys. We just take weeks off whenever we fucking feel like it. <laughs> All right. Whatever. I get it. I mean, this to is be strenuous. fair, we do we do get paid fifty grand an episode, so it's on us whenever we take off. <laughs> it's on us. <laughs> you know, when we don't want the ten grand, we just say, you know what, fuck it, take the week off. So, how was last week's episode without Tom and I? I'm sure John and Cam were screaming at each other. It was awesome. Actually, it, it was, was a great honest. episode. It was a really smooth, good episode. Tom, it's maybe we don't have to do this anymore. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> we'll I will say though, I think right now, car. like. The, the five people I think can get congested sometimes because four right now is a nice slow. Doesn't they it can get like what? Austin? A congested. lot of people yelling at each other. Yes, that's exactly right. Like, will you throw like not only Tim and Cam, 
but like one or the other is okay. But when you throw both of them together with three other people, it's just like <laughs> blah, 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 well, blah you, in a microphone. Well, well, you know what the issue is, right? Me. None yeah. of you idiots yeah, can do this just, without yep. being drunk. <laughs> Bro, so not I'm only do we have mountain water oh, right now, you fuck. Death. So not so only drinking ninja versus unicorns. Do we have five idiots here? But at least two of them are drunk I've, every I've week. I've never recorded an episode without a drink in my hand. Sorry. Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. Yep. Yep. Well, that's so, good. At least you guys had a good weekend last anyways, week. Anyway, Valero open. Valero open. Who's gonna who's gonna be the, the, the winner? You know who the favorite is, right? Uh Jordan Spieth. Uh yeah. Is he really? Yeah. I'm gonna go with Big Dick Rick. That's my pick for this one. Are we Here, making dude. picks already? Can I at least we are. I'm going I'm going all in on Big Dick Rick. So I'm going on. all in on Big Dick Rick. Okay. Well, why well, doesn't Dean bring us to where we were before? I was Doesn't gonna matter. Say. I'm in last place still. Yeah, I didn't Rick. ask John. <laughs> so before the match play, I missed last week, so I didn't get any picks or results, but we had the Honda Classic picks where I took Ricky. Uh, he finished at seven over par. Cam took, I don't oh. know his first name. I just wrote Gooch. Tyler, Taylor. Gooch? Taylor? Taylor. Taylor Gooch. Uh, he finished two over. Austin, you took our boy Wyndham Clark. He finished two over. Uh, Tom, you picked Shane Lowry, who finished one over. <laughs> and John. John Look, oh, the Irish. <laughs> John picked uh, Maverick McNeely, who finished six over par. So, <laughs> so hey, I wasn't last though. Dean was last. So all of us had a uh, pretty rough weekend. So um, I went from seventy nine under par to seventy two under par. Cam went from seventy five to seventy three. He is now the leader. Austin went from fifty six <laughs> to fifty four. Tom went from thirty nine to thirty eight, and John went from twenty five over par. To 31 How over did I par. get so far over <laughs> par? How did that happen? Where did that happen? So, get picks. Get so, fucked, nerd. Where did it happen, though? So that did Rory pick that shot plus 10. Yeah, that Rory pick. Okay, that's you know, not 30. I was 31 over right now. Where did that I mean, to be 10. fair, you have picked Fowler a couple of times, too, I believe. And yeah. okay, he's go currently fighting for his Tell life. Me where I effed up. So I don't remember, John, if you were just blind. If you don't remember, then why do you have the shit written? Uh, Did you not just hear what I said? I don't remember if you were blind drunk two weeks ago when we went over this breakdown with you. But the first time in my work meeting. No, you were. (laughs) Yeah, you were blind drunk actually when we went over with us. So the first broke. Holy fuck. What? I just completely slurred all my words. One sip of whiskey and it's fucking game over. basically john you put yourself in a hole at like i think it was 30 over par because you didn't pick the first tournament of the year and we agreed it was 10 shots was that yeah, a, the first tournament yeah we all picked three people the first correct tournament. we picked waste management and, and then didn't we pick anybody you, you were, did not pick anybody february 1st you were so absent. how do you penalize me 30 points for not picking because you were told and you did not send your picks in no, 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 no. This, was... this is bullshit. <laughs> you know, John, drunk Austin John just shit. accepted the fact. <laughs> yeah, I, I like drunk John bullshit. more. He was like, I you know what? Just another out why that like I'm 31 in the hole, and now you th- that's fucking bullshit. I'm okay, how about to, this? Is just another obstacle to overcome because you're the best. No, this is fucking okay. Bullshit. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you want on. us to call hold Cam? On. We'll call Cam and settle this whole fucking thing right now. No, we're not doing. Hold that. on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was not 10 strokes a person. It was five. So you put yourself for Riviera at 15 over par in the hole. Okay, you take listen, away those 15 strokes. Where, did, where was it? Where was the text of like where the over par? I, listen, I'm, right. I, I, I have I mean, no book right still here. fucked even if we get rid of that first <laughs> tournament. Get rid of the 15. So, so at 16. you had Morikawa who shot we need, one over par. You know what par. we need is if we've all agreed to it being five stroke penalty because you, no one picked players. And we all agreed on that. Strokes. Now you're getting angry. We need to have people chime in on Instagram and say, "Is John wrong? We have no or is Dean so an idiot? Doesn't matter. D- Dean's an idiot. I'll send you. So teas. we'll have no, a poll listen, up on Wednesday on release stage. Are you Team John yeah. or are you Team Ooh, Dean, me. Austin, Tom, and Ken? <laughs> right. No, it's are you, okay. So I was so or are basically you I got penalized. <laughs> so listen to this though. So I got penalized 15 strokes. Correct for one tournament. Correct. Now we're only picking one person per turn. <laughs> John, which John, is let fucking me, stupid. John, let me tell this you is, something. You, Shut okay, your fucking take, mouth, John, Austin. John, let listen me. Finish me. My take point. away the 15 strokes. You're 16 over par. Okay, Dean, I am 50 under par. Yeah. I'm going to punch your face through this TV right now. <laughs> That's a good so, so, John, 
Okay, so after that, you then pick yes, Morikawa, like who, awesome. who shot over par again, one stroke over par. Okay. I don't know why you're getting angry with us. You should be getting angry at these fucking players that you're picking. <laughs> okay, continue, Dean. You, then you picked Xander, who shot one under par, so you are now floating at 15 under par. Okay. You then picked Tony Finau, who did not even compete. We did not even penalize you there, so okay. we gave you zero. So you're still at 15 over par. I'm <laughs> you, then, yeah. you then took Rory, who shot 10 over par. That's fine. Putting you at 25, and then you pick Maverick McNeely. Okay. Get rid of that 15, though, because it's bullshit. Because other times when people didn't make picks, you assign picks for them. And that has happened before. So get rid of those 15. You're still at fucking... I don't fucking care. Get rid of those 15. It's principle. God, like, you literally. Know if you put this much energy and heart into your We picks, agreed to the fucking better. penalty for not picking a motherfucker on but the if, first tournament. Okay, Tom. Every time you haven't been here, we're like, we're going to give you this person. And it's That's actually, not my fault. You all fucking love me. <laughs> Stop it. Get re- I'm, at, I'm currently at 16 over. Okay. That's sure, get get on at. 16 over. Okay. Okay. John That's is still going to come in last. Hey, you know what? Make it 15. The 15 <laughs> that he's yelling about, he's no, 15 I'll take, over. I'll take the, I'll take the, fi- the 16. But the 15, okay. Okay, I don't ex- ever remember like, send your picks in by this deadline. Okay. And, you, you're 16 over par. Who did you guys pick for the Dell match? 15 over in my heart. I, I had, had I had Jordan. I had JT. Dean so had didn't Antoine make it out of Ra- groups. Dean had okay. Antoine Rosner. Well, we don't know. Rosne. Even... How do you spell that? R O Z N I E R. Did Dean send his pick in Austin? Because I don't see where he sent his pick in. So you guys just me. assigned you and Cam me a pick. pick Antoine. Here you go. I don't. Re- nice I think we picked Poulter, Poulter for Tom. Picks, honestly, shit. Tom picked Poulter. Wait, no. I made that up. Let me see who he picked. It wasn't Polder. We picked for him. He wasn't here. Yeah, it was not Camille here. Camille Viegas. It was Viegas. It was Viegas. And then who did Cam have? Cam had... Uh, he did probably he picked like <laughs> Terrell Hatton or something. Did you listen and hear Terrell Hatton? Is that why you know? Actually, no, he yes. did pick Terrell Hatton because... I'm, I... Yeah, Dean just said he listened. Okay. <laughs> That's yeah, I, li- I listened to last week's episode, boys. While I was driving to Bumblefuck. That's how you know it's a bad drive when you resort to listening to this. Austin, we can hear Why are you muting? (laughs) (laughs) So, I don't remember who you guys picked for uh, Tom, though. It was Viegas. It was Viegas. Give me a Viegas. Okay, so how do you guys... I don't... What? There was no penalties. It was just like, if you made it out of the group, it was this many points. If you made it out of this... Okay, so dude, if you made it out of the group five... Okay. And then each elimination win another five. So Austin's the only one who got in the text points. message. Speed only made it past one round, correct? Pretty convenient how that comes out. <laughs> so zero for Cam. John's over drinking out of a pimp juice. Zero chalice. for me. Zero for Tom. Zero for John. This is some Weller. Put your fucking pinky out when you hold that class. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. It's so, a so Weller. All right, so update the standings, Dean. Uh, how many points did you say for making it out of groups? Five? five? Just two five, yeah. Okay. So Austin is the only one who earned over. points this past week. Highest, yeah. the, highest then you know, just wins. make it one point. One point for making it out. One point. Okay. No. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. fucking I, I think one. Absolutely. I think one's, I think one's good. I think well, how, one's what good. do you feel? How do you feel about that, Dean? You good with that? Whatever the majority is. I'm mm-hmm. I'm easy. There we well, go. majority rules. Cam Perfect. would say one point too, so one point it is. Well, we're talking about strokes, not points. Nope, we're talking about just one point. Okay, one point. updated leaderboards. <laughs> Literally nothing just changed. Last. <laughs> so said, nothing changed. Now. No, you're at 62 and one point. What? <laughs> no, he's at... It's just... How much for getting out of groups? Five? Five. One, one point. And one point for advancing. Yeah, this is too much math yeah. for this episode. So, so I'm at 63. No, you had 54 going into this. You're at 62 and one point. You had 54 going into this group. So I'm at 59. Okay. 58 and one point. Okay. Okay. Cam is at 73. I'm at 72. Austin is at 59. Tom is at 38. And John is at plus 16. I didn't hear Austin's extra point. What was John at? (laughs) I'm at 16 over. John's playing 16 over. All right. You guys are playing checkers. I'm playing chess. I'm just letting you get out and head. (laughs) Says the one who just bitched about 15. I will fucking lose my shit if John fucking ends up winning this bullshit. 
<laughs> he gets to pick get, every major. He gets to pick next every major. major. Yeah. <laughs> John, I will give you. What could I give you if you win this year? I'll let John pick OTPH, a tattoo. Yeah. You're a college dropout with no money. What do you have? Uh, kid didn't even graduate. I'll let John pick a tattoo and I'll put it on my ass cheek if he wins this week. This year. <laughs> I, you know this what? Year. Absolutely. He said this week, I'm though. Like, he didn't say this no, week. This year. Yeah. If you take the whole thing home, I will gladly get a tattoo of your choosing on my ass cheek. This is like fantasy football. I'm not doing this. I'm not. When's the season yeah. end? We have to put an end It's a FedEx season. Cup championship. What yeah. do you mean you're not doing this? It's your ass <laughs> cheek. Who gives a fuck? It's a good story. Also, you also no, have to think no he's like or 80 vulgar. Like no, he's 89 shots off the lead. Just I don't like, care. He's going to like pull out like a fucking Ricky Fowler <laughs> Masters win and get 100 listen, strokes Fowler because needs Ricky Fowler didn't even weekend. play in the tournament. He just somehow won. <laughs> so the Valero Texas Open, TPC San Antonio. Go with Abraham <laughs> answer. Is that what you're real taking? Yeah. Okay. Fuck big dick Rick. He ain't making it. John, are you staying with Big Dick Rick? No, I'm Big Dick Rick. I'm just giving the faith one more week. Yep. If he, if he yep. wins this week, I'm going to ride the train. Austin, you're taking Jay Spieth? Probably into mm-hmm. the fucking sand trap on 16. I <clears throat> will... <clears throat> this week, I am going to go with... I didn't even look at the field till now. I think we should give Cam <clears throat> Lee Westwood. He's been playing really well lately. I'm going to give Cam that vibe and give him Lee Westwood. I didn't know this was up to you. <laughs> well, I spoke first. He did speak first. You, you know, why him. don't why, why don't we give Cam Lee Westwood? Everyone okay with that? <laughs> Cam has got Lee Westwood, and I am going to take... Hmm... <clears throat> He prepared Dean. I did. I just said, listen, I was gone all week. I had no idea what tournament this you is. All the time in the world to figure out a pick. <laughs> it's got to go with your gut. What's your gut say? Dude, I'm trying to figure out this field here. Hold on. <sighs> all righty. Trying to figure out this field here. Nerd. I'm going to go t- Tony Finau. I think Tony Finau's going to win the Masters. That's my Masters pick. You are so dumb. I thought you couldn't get any dumber until that <laughs> sentence. He's uh, been in the top 10 in the last, what, two, three years in a row, I think? Feet on a master. Has he ever won a PGA tournament? So wait, who the fuck did we just give Cam? No, he hasn't. Lee Westwood. Uh, Lee Westwood. S- and, and spell his last name? Westwood. Hmm. He's, He's not, not playing. You want to pick somebody else? or? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I think we just give Cam that for this week. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I say, I say we give him Gary Woodland. I think Brooks is a better choice. John, are you looking at like the aren't I'm playing list? Fucking, or the- yes, I'm joking. <laughs> Brooks had knee surgery. Give him Gary. Give him Gary. Okay. Okay. Are you just going with like the wood theme for Cam how, from West Wood to Woodland? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> give him the can, wood. You can't even be mad at a guy named Gary. I think we give him with wood. Good name. Gary Wood. Hey, Gary hey Wood. Gary Wood. So I'm I'm looking through the the field this week and it just kind of sparked something. I don't know about you guys, and I don't know if this is controversial. I do not like Matt Kuchar. He's okay. Why? I don't know. I can't stand Bryson. I think I've told you guys before, but I fucking hate Bryson. I don't. I something about Kucher. I don't. Every time we turn on the tournament and he pops up on screen, my girlfriend <laughs> just looks at me and goes, "Cooch." Yeah, I I you haven't touched it in forever. <laughs> I do the same <laughs> thing. I just. Right. I don't. So I don't know what it is. I have a question for you guys. Some of us, you know, understand we do a golf podcast and want to bring golf topics to the table. I got a golf. Just topic. talk golf for like do, the last. Do week. you guys think no. there should be a match play major? Nah. No. Why? No. Nah. It just takes out like the final day. You got a guy or like moving day on Saturday. You have you have. No, instead you got up. the two best people going head to head. No, but it doesn't have to. It's like the tournament. Is the two best people a number 11 versus number two? No, it's not. That week, it's yes. That, that, yeah. But I'm saying, like, you don't have the drama of guys coming from like 13th on Sunday and throws up like a six under to move up and be tied for first. For well, no, you'd have a 16 upset of one. 
Austin, you're not going to be. No, this is not how this works. You're, I mean, you can have your own opinion. If, upset, even if it's no, wrong, it's okay. Just, <laughs> oh, so yours is right because you didn't graduate college? No, but I'm just saying that. <laughs> Imagine having to rely on an insult I that isn't even true. All that insult just gets thrown right back at him every time. <laughs> no, I just. I wouldn't say Austin it's not come, true. None of us is coming with this loaded question graduate. like, guys, what do you think about a match play major? And I'm like, nah, I don't like it. He's like, no, you're wrong. I'm right. right. 16 versus one could happen like no well no it would happen to be fair no, i just the, the loose is some of the drama i mean because you get groups ah, i'd rather have moving like yeah I'm, I, not, I, I'm just not a fan no i'm not a huge fan of it but i will say i feel like the emotions would be so much why higher. are you yelling i'm not doing anything different you are screaming also, got sensitive ears yeah they're burning I don't know. You but... get man ears when you graduate college. <laughs> <laughs> they get bigger and take in more sound. Yeah, you got to use them more to hear the professors and shit. Professors? I don't know. I, I never went to college. I'm dead one sip of whiskey's hammered. <clears throat> no, I was right, choking anyway, on the front So <laughs> is that that? That's the next topic. Uh, everybody brought. I got over. a hot topic. Let's hear it. Like the the I story. I love how we just gloss over Austin's topic in like less than a minute. Ready? Well, I wasn't really ready what for that. What putter do you think Jimmy Walker will be using this weekend? Because <laughs> in his updated what's in the bag from January of 2021, he's using a Scotty. Now I'm going to go with the Scotty. Because he probably did be a use Scottie. the directed force, the lab directed force before. I don't think he had any other two, didn't he? Other than that. I think he had a lime one Scotty and then the lab. The lab. Oh, okay. Nothing yeah. else really comes to mind. <laughs> Putter wise from Jimmy Walker, anyways. <laughs> oh, what do you think the turnaround is for like a custom Scotty Cameron? Probably not nine months. Yeah, I was gonna say it's probably less than nine months, right? I like how you winked into the camera when you said that. To me. <laughs> you probably also what pay when you get it, right? Right, that yeah, yeah, yeah. probably probably yeah. not up front. Understandably, right? You keep paying maybe when you maybe a it. deposit up front. I could see doing a deposit. Like half but then again, half. he's also he's also a professional, so he probably doesn't pay up front. Yeah, yeah. But he does have to pay for his putters, I thought I heard. I w- I would believe yeah that he does pay for them. I would think so. But I don't know. All right, Tom's topic is done. <laughs> Dean, what's your topic you're bringing to the podcast tonight? Dean can't even keep it together right now. <laughs> <laughs> What put? What? That's a great question. What putter so, do you think Ian Poulter will be rolling by the end of this season? Uh-huh. Swag. Do you ever use think a of Cody James? Before? No, I bet it's swag. Dude, Speaking our, of swag, did you see they they bought EP swag. EP covers? Yes, swag yeah. bought the cover company. That's, That's pretty crazy. That is big. I mean, the, the, they can they print they print money with those covers. Oh yeah, they. I love those covers, but I hate the name. Tom and I have talked about this I've from the to, like, beginning. Get... God, you guys are such boomers. No, it is Tom. True, and... though. I have literally said from the get go, the shit swag produces is fucking top notch. It's all of their logos are sick. Everything is sick. I can't swag. stand that fucking name. It's terrible. It's just a bad fucking name for a golf company. I it reminds me of high school, and but... that's coming from somebody that's part of the Dew Sweepers, <laughs> and that the fucking the name swag is bad. What if we change our podcast to the Swag Bros? We could get a lot of listeners really quick. If we I could would be like fucking, the Swag Bros. I'd go play in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> bad, bad, good content. Yeah, good contenting. Um, no, he like, uses an Odyssey White Hot XG7 putter, Ian Poulter, just in case you were wondering. Well, he put up a story on his Instagram. Like, he's that now was gaming months, the like new, uh, I'm sorry. He's going to be using the uh, Scotty Cameron Phantom X11 prototype. Is that what the mallet? Phantom putter. I need a new putter. What to Austin? Awesome. What was line, Ian so. Poulter's Medina putter? I don't, I don't fucking know. know. I, mean, I'm not, I didn't go that far down the rabbit hole. John, what are you thinking? What are you going to roll this this summer? I think I'm going to get a spider, I think. Really? I think so, yeah. I had one at one point, liked it. Um, real, This last golf trip I went on, I've got this um, Del Monte tailor made. I stole mm-hmm. back from my dad. I gave him for Father's Day. I won with golfography. I liked it. It was different. It's so it's weird. I used to, my lamb I had, I could roll it nice. Um, this Del Monte I've got, like, it's so weird going from that lamb to this for weight. So I was leaving everything short with this. So I think I just got to get used to it. But I might roll this, but fuck, my dad just ordered uh, 
new clubs. He went and got fitted at Carl's Golf Land in Michigan three weeks ago, I think, four weeks ago, and ordered some tailor made Sim Max 2s. It's going to be May before they get here. And I just looked on Taylor Med's website. If you order a putter, it's September 1st is the ship date. For really? Yes. It's all supply chain. Would so that be what, if you had to get tweaks done to it? No, that's just like an OTR like putter. Like you, there's one putter I looked at. It was like September 1st for ship date from Taylor Med's website. Wait. So, John, speaking of, you know, getting a new putter, you know, we have a really good friend of the pod who happens to make putters and is very good at golf. And his name is Neil. It's true. True story. You could, you could go to Roars, and I'm sure you can make can, a killer can stick. Can confirm that man is good at golf. I thought you were going to say Cody. Yeah. <clears throat> Two albatrosses. I mean, we have more than we can name. You Actually, know, I wore my. I was wearing that shirt yesterday. Roars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to go away from the blade, though. I think I'm going to try. I want to try some tech with a with a mallet. That's what I was going to say. Uh, is this going to be your first mallet? My dad. I had a no. Spider. I had a spider at one point, but then it was a face balance, like the first one they had with the double bend neck and i think i'm gonna go like i, I like the spider x the copper spider x the real question is are you gonna get a new driver no i'm, not, I'm terrible <laughs> at driving so why right get well that's why i figured maybe you'd no. just try a new driver or actually in florida i didn't drive too too bad one i had in the people i was golfing with they said i had to see one i had to see a good one and then after that i was good but i had to see a good one it usually took five or six holes to see a good drive and then after that i was fine but your game was ruined at that point so Hopefully I'll get out and golf this next week. It's supposed to be 70 on Monday. Yeah, Dean, so. next weekend is in the 70s, yo. I know. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm I think I out. think the weather is finally breaking here in Chicago. I think we should probably try and get around in. I could have got around in like this last weekend, but I was tearing a fucking barn down from 1905. So. Dude, everybody was busy last I weekend. I still need to email my guy about lessons. Still <laughs> haven't done it. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. your wife I is really happy about Like that. I was kind of nonchalant about At this about- point, I don't even think she remembers. <laughs> I was nonchalant about golf about three weeks ago, but I'm so ready to get out there and golf now. I don't think I, I think maybe like the second week of winter, I was like, man, I can use a little golf break. But now, like since then, I'm like, I just want to play. But you, you, you've out, traveled. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, you yeah I, travel, I got but... my golf fix there in February, but now like I came home and I had some other things I was working on. We were on the truck, the house, like turned the barn down. I got that shit done. I'm like, all right, I need like a. Such a hell of a John, have really. have you um, told our, our listeners about your race truck? I don't think I have. I'm currently building a yeah. endurance you road have... racing S10. Well, I was just <laughs> solidified say because... the hillbilly status. <laughs> yes. I was just no, going to no, say here, listen, you're building so, a race truck, and I had to tear my barn down. <laughs> so, listen to this. so, so this race truck. Speaking of hillbillies and race truck, the, our sponsor, the brewery that I tell you guys about, Bush had all the whiskey. Oh. The whiskey bar, the Austin one you went to, Clag, the brewery. He's going to be our main sponsor, and we're painting the car up just like with all his How colors the fuck and everything. You and I was that shit. Because um, <laughs> my dad's like the CFO there, so <laughs> we're good family friends with him. But anyway, um, we we're and there. The rich and I'm like, get richer. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wish I. Yeah, okay. Um, so we're sitting there, and Kaz, I said, "Hey, Ka, he's a Vietnamese guy." I'm like, "Hey, we're gonna have your you you hold two glasses of beer up on the hood." He's like, "Oh, really, really?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "So you do like dirt track racing?" I'm like, "No, that's for hillbillies." And the guy at the end of the bar was laughing because he knew hillbillies did dirt track racing, and we're like, "No, we're going step up. We're going asphalt. We're doing road <laughs> track racing." So it's your, uh, what you your race is going to be over here by us, isn't it? No, I, I switched things up because I'm not going to make that race. I don't think so. Are you I not going to Michigan, God, John? I was going to no, go. I'm not going to Michigan. Do you guys? Oh my September fucking 11th God, John! In Ohio, I I, I might listen, go. John. I'm a little busy that day. That's true. You are. Um, <laughs> no, probably not. So anyway, it's September 11th in Ohio. There's one in Autobahn in Chicago. Actually, you got any races that like don't require me to go to Ohio? Um. <laughs> Probably not this year. Next year, I think we're going to race at Indy if they have the Indy race. Ooh, excuse me. So I don't know. We'll see. We got to get through the first race and like make sure we don't kill ourselves and we all like make it out alive and the truck doesn't blow up in the first hour because so it's eight s- hour races. You like, sent me that day. video of the first startup and I noticed you did not look at your oil pressure gauge at all. We don't have an oil pressure gauge at all because there's no dash hooked up to it. That's terrifying. No, but the oil pressure, it, like it spit out of the tea I had in the oil line. So we know it has oil pressure because it's blue oil over the floor. So we're good. We know we have oil pressure because it like came out the tea. So we're that's how they do it in Ohio. When it explodes, <laughs> you know you no longer have oil yeah. pressure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a one way valve in the oil line, and the oil line has a one way. So like it went through the one way. Can only go one way. Yeah. So one way. 
That's why I, it's I, called I, one way. You can only I, go one way. I, I, shut your fucking mouth, Austin. <laughs> why um, do I get it? Because you didn't go to college. Um, anyway. No, so the race truck is... And you fell down a flight of stairs. Yeah. You go to college. You need to turn that to an AFV. It's so, so hard. You're going to want to... Turn it into an grand. NFT. <laughs> sell the NFT of Austin falling and we'll down the sell stairs. It, and we'll sell to Austin <laughs> for $17,000. <laughs> Austin, you can buy your own video. But uh, yes, yeah, so a race truck should be on the road met by May 4th, my birthday. Should be able to drive down the road. That's fucking exciting, so. man. It sounded like a shameless plug for people to send you shit. <laughs> My birthday's April fourth. My birthday's April fourth. It's coming up. My birthday's May thirteenth. If you send me some May, fucking swag, May twentieth here. I'll have but, Dean. Uh, uh, shut are you guys? Down on do you guys have the birthday of the May the fourth be with you? Is your birthday? No, no we're birthday. not fucking losers. Yeah, what he said. I'm a nerd though, so I'm allowed to. I, I'm a bigger nerd than you. You can't even own a computer. I, I'm a bigger nerd because I have a virtual computer. I mean, technically, he does have you there. Like, if you someone came to me and said, "What's more nerdy, <laughs> or owning a virtual computer?" <laughs> but I feel like at some point you had to have a computer in order to order the virtual computer. Yeah, I have a laptop, but yeah. Well, so anyway, John's gonna um, be speaking tuning of computers. Truck. Did you guys uh, see the new news that Tiger Woods is getting back in EA golf games? Yeah, that just further yeah. proves he's done competing. That, that's all that crippled motherfucker can do right now. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Whoa, Tom. Tom coming in hot. Tiger, Whoa, if you're listening, we don't believe that. He shattered his fucking legs. What do you think that man's doing He's right done. Now? He's never he's playing golf yeah. again. He's oh, learning so, how to walk right now is what he's Tom, doing. Tom, were you on the episode where we talked about Tiger's injury where I was, I was the only one that said he will never play competitive golf? No, game. I said he won't either. Okay, so Austin and Cam said that he will play again. I'm like, uh, I think he will. I don't think so. No, he'll play golf again, but he's I not going to no, play I think the he'll PGA. Play Absolutely, no Absolutely way. Will in the champions tour? Fucking lootly, he's going to play again. Oh my god, Bro, that man prints money for Nike. You're out of your mind if you don't think that they're going to have. The he's renegotiating his contract for like <laughs> everything. Hundred million dollars, dude. They're throwing doctors at that guy right now to get him back to probably a better shape than he was prior to the accident. I'm trying to down. think of a good pun to make about throwing yeah. doctors and related to something, but couldn't yeah. figure it out. No, Tiger, out. Tiger will be back and he'll be, and he'll, he'll be better than he has been for sure. <sighs> and that's, better I think than, that's oh, just, oh, that's, and that's not even a, because they're giving him the money and the resources. That's just, I think a mental thing within mm-hmm. Tiger Woods that he's, he's going to want to come back and compete. Oh, I think unless so. he literally can't fucking walk, that man's gonna come out and he's gonna play again. Do you think he's gonna like get a John Day like assumption and ride around the fucking golf cart? Could you imagine? That would be fucking dude. People <laughs> lose their fucking mind. People already have issues with fucking guys wearing hoodies on the golf course. I mean, imagine <laughs> if they let Tiger Woods <laughs> Tiger Woods had a golf drive cart. around a golf cart. They'd fucking lose it. That'd they would so fucking lose their show. And then they- imagine if he crashed the fucking golf cart. <laughs> Oh man! You imagine mm-hmm. John Daly and Tiger Woods on a golf cart sharing it together as a pairing in like the so first good. day of a tournament. That'd be, so good. <laughs> That'd so be good. electric, bro. I feel like we need to make that a T-shirt. No, I think it'd be a gas <laughs> golf cart. Yeah, oh, that, would be, <laughs> that would be a fucking solid T-shirt. Black pants, red shirt, and John Daly with his '80s like flow. Yeah, and mullet. Too bad we don't have any money for graphic design. So if anybody wants to do some graphic design for us for cuts of, uh, we're hiring sales, an intern. We're, we're doing royalties. We're on a per royal. We're going to like Mister Wonderful style here. For one Shark Tank. one dollar Royal- per shirt sold. We're doing royalty <laughs> basis on uh, graphic design. So if you're one dollar per shirt sold, decent like not even decent, the terrible decent graphic designer. <laughs> the worse the better. Yeah, please help us. We'll give you. Why don't we just hire an intern? Oh, we're, yeah okay who's gonna while, be while we're pl- while we're plugging things Austin's away he's already our intern <laughs> <laughs> you didn't graduate college he's already our intern while we're plugging things away please go to our shop and buy a bag of teas for the season we have what one we got left i think we have maybe one rope hat left one visor and uh we have like five bags of teas left so get them all they're hot kid can't do math either <laughs> right and you clearly don't know how marketing works <laughs> It was just nah. worth it. But for real, buy our fucking tees so we can order some more shit. Yeah, if you guys want to see cool merch in our store, you'll buy our tees so that we can get money to buy cool merch. I will say overall, the those mock-ups I did while I was bored went over pretty well. People seem yeah. to like those. 
minus that trash fucking font that you picked. I just picked a random one and I went with it. I mean, to be fair, I told you that I hated that font from the yeah. rip. So yeah, this isn't new. It's not like I blindsided you. <laughs> yeah, you just threw me to the wolves. Bro, you know what we need to do? Are we leaving this in? Guys, yeah, fuck yeah, leave this in. I want some feedback. Pit Viper sunglasses. <laughs> we need to make a Dew Sweeper Pit Viper sunglasses. Green arms, orange fuck lenses, yes. white temples. S- yes, we have to do it. Absolutely, we have to do it. Oh, can you custom order Pit Vipers or not? I don't fucking know, but I, we, we need, need to, to fucking reach out, reach out or do something because that That'd would be, be fucking awesome. solid. I commented on Pit Vipers, uh, one of their Facebook posts this weekend when I was buzzed about how they, it was like these two nurses and a doctor and like, oh, even like the view from the patient as he sees our Pit Vipers or something. I saw that. I, I saw it. that. John got you flamed. John got I, I, flamed. I <laughs> so I went in and I zoomed in and you could see them taking a selfie and there was no patient there. And I'm like, oh, it looks like marketing. Is oh, I saw 4K. that. <laughs> yeah. Marketing its finest in 4K where it was like them holding the phone for the selfie. So, yeah. So sadly, you cannot buy. To, I, I won't be reaching out to Pit Viper. <laughs> you cannot customize Pit Vipers, but I'm sure we could find a aftermarket just reach out to him. third Say, party. Get, get, hey, can get us to. a dozen. Get us a dozen Pit Vipers. Do you know for, who the fuck we for, are? For sure, <laughs> rocking. For sure, rocking Pit Vipers for this fucking this season of golf. Absolutely. Oh, I would do that if we could get customized. Straight pit up vipers. bald head and Pit Vipers. <laughs> it's gonna be great. I, I, lo- like, I looked up for Pit Vipers. I looked up how to get custom gators with our logo on it. Would be pretty cool. Not Fuck as cool. Not as cool as Pit Vipers. <laughs> vipers. All right, guys, you're ready to wrap this episode up. We're in here about 40 minutes so far. Let's get some picks and roll out. I think so. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. What kind of picks are we making, John? <coughs> Song picks for what? The slew banger. Hey, there we go. For hot spits and loud noises. <laughs> All right, I'll kick us off. I'm gonna go with some. Uh, Avicii. Get off I'm going to go with some Nickelback. Hey, brother. What it, Nickelback what doesn't it, deserve the hate that they get. By the way. They do not. It was a joke because yeah. I listened to last week's podcast and John was like, if Dean and Tom were here, they just make fun of me for picking the song. Which one did I pick? I forget. I John wonders why he just only do. John doesn't put songs on the playlist, so I don't even know why we still do this. I do, too. No, you don't. I missed last week's. What were they? You you you, you were the only the... one here. Austin, remember my pick last week? You I did la- se- uh, seven days ago. You did fly away, Jubal, and peaches. You oh, did. Oh yeah, so that was last week. That was you last did it. Week. But then the week I was really drunk at my work meeting, I forgot to put those picks on there. Yeah, and you made uh, us I know text I picked, you. you know, but I I picked. Okay, I'll I'll go back and I'll figure it out. Anyway. Yeah, you put peanut butter jelly on there, but no, nobody pick. else's. Anyway, make your pick. Tim, go ahead. Tim, Tom, whatever they call you. I'm going to go with My Own Worst Enemy by Lit. Whoa, Tom's voice changed. Well, he's not talking. I'm sure he's looking it up. I'm going with Astronaut in the Ocean, Masked Wolf. It's already on there. Sorry. Is it? Yep. My pick. By who? Me. You picked it? I picked it. (laughs) What? I don't even contemplate everything I don't know which one you are. (laughs) Um, Cam gave us a pick. Cam's pick put them both on there. Was, no, put them both on there. My neck, my back, live by Ellie King. Oh, he wants the live version. Yep. We're just gonna. I, he picked the wrong song. Do we, do we put the live version on or put the like the? Actual, he sent us the live version. Okay, we'll put the live versions going on. Tom, what song did you just try and pick? I don't know. Some song that fuck had already picked. <laughs> don't talk about Austin like that. Yeah, it's right. funny because he's talking about you. <laughs> I mean, I got, I got one. Well, that's it. <laughs> you want me to hold your hand? Are you ready? I'm ready. It's a big one. I think we're ready. It's from a DreamWorks animation movie. Ew. All stars. Justin Timberlake. Oh. Can't stop the feeling. Can't stop. Is that the trolls? Feeling. Trolls. What a good movie. Never saw the movie. Really? But if this song doesn't make you want to get up and like at least tap your foot. <sighs> movie was great. Trolls 2, not so good. Never saw the first one. <clears throat> well, Tom, why don't you sing us out? I got <laughs> a fucking sing. song. But I will take us out. I'm not fucking done picking my song. Wait, didn't you pick? Thanks oh. for listening this week, guys. 
Oh my Appreciate God. it. I know I haven't been here the last two. Hopefully you guys enjoy the Valero nice Texas streak. Open. The Texas Viper Pit Viper weekend. Hopefully you guys liked our picks for the songs this week. Firestone, Kaga. Take it out. Oh my wow. That's what you get for not letting me pick. <laughs> Sounds like we just let you pick. Yeah. You, Can we veto that? that? Can we veto that? Three vetoes real quick. Yeah, fuck it. No, I'll let them have it. No. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for real, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of the Deuce Sweepers podcast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this week. Um, enjoy a great weekend of the Valero Texas Open. Hopefully Jay Spieth wins. It'd be pretty cool to see Ricky actually qualify, but that's a long shot in hell. But no, either way, qualify. he needs to just fucking win. So if, if John wins this year, it's going to be because of Ricky. So you guys are getting a big P for Puma on your ass. Of whatever it is, that I don't would care. Be fucking hilarious! I'll do it for sure. <laughs> the Puma, lo- but the, but it has to be the Fourth of July Puma. Perfect. It's got to be the Fourth of July. Oh, Puma. it'll be the whatever fucking Puma I pick for you. Fulk has got a point. <laughs> Fulk. It's gonna be a Puma. Um, it's gonna be a big P with a pine. All right, bye guys. <laughs> bye. Later. Bye.